In this video, I will show you how to simplify exponential expressions such as these. Now, we have to be extra careful when we have fractional exponents because not only can our answer only contain positive exponents, but we can have no fractional exponents in the denominator. So in the end, all of this business down here is no good. No fractional exponents will be allowed in the denominator. Let's start the party off with problem number 11. Specifically, the numerator. So I have this raised to the 1 half power. Understand this. If I have xy uh, squared, that's x squared, y squared. I'm going to square each of these separately. So it's going to be the same thing here. I'm going to take each of these and raise them to the 1 half power. So that's why I'm going to have m to the 1 half power. And then what about n? Well, just in case you didn't watch my previous two videos, understand this. Uh, for example, if I have x to the third power raised to the fifth power, when you have a power raised to a power, you multiply these. This will be x to the 15th power. So that's the situation we're in here. Power raised to a power, you multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4. So 3 halves times 1 half is 3 fourths. Now, look at the denominator. First, look at this. If I have x to the third power times x to the fifth power, that's going to be x to the eighth power. When you multiply expressions with like bases, you add the exponents. So that's what we have here with the uh, m times m to the 3 over 2 power. We need to add the exponents. All right, let me scratch paper this off to the side. Um, if I do m to the 1 power times m to the 3 over 2 power, all right, that's what I'm about to do. But I, I need to add 1 plus 3 over 2. Now I love to add with the number 1 because 1 can be turned into whatever you want. It could be 1 over 1, 2 over 2, 3 over 3, etc. So I will replace 1 with 2 over 2 so I can have like denominators and this is 5 over 2. So this would be m to the 5 over 2 power. So that's what I have. I have m to the 5 halves. Okay, similarly, when I multiply the n's, I need to add these. Uh, I feel like I should change colors. So I'm going to need to add 4 over 3 plus uh, 1 half. Okay, let's get like denominators by doing this. So that's going to be 8 over 6 plus 3 over 6, that is 11 over 6. So I have n to the 11 over 6 power. All right, now here's the next little thing that you need to understand. Um, if I do x to the eighth power divided by x to the third power, I usually say, hey guys, these three x's will cancel out three of these x's and that will give me x to the fifth power. And uh, of course, another way to look at that is subtraction. All right, this is x to the eight minus three power and that's giving you x to the fifth power. Um, this subtraction is the best way to look at it when you're dealing with fractions. Uh, because it's a, you, there's no way to look at it as just canceling out x's. So you really have to resort to subtraction. So I am saying this. Um, when I do this part of the problem, I'm going to have to do 1 half minus 5 halves. All right, because that'll be my new exponent. Well, this is extra easy because I already have like denominators. This is going to make negative 4 over 2, 
uh, which is actually simply negative 2. Okay, so that is going to be my new exponent for the m's. So I'm going to have m to the negative 2 power because of this. Now, what about the n's? What will be my new n power? So uh, again, I'm going to need to do 3 fourths minus 11 over 6. Um, let's turn these both into 12s by doing this and this. So that's going to give me 9 twelfths minus 22 twelfths, which is negative 13 twelfths. So that is the exponent on the n negative 13 twelfths. Now if I tried to finish off this problem right now I'd run into trouble. I know that uh, if there is a negative exponent it is on the wrong side of the fraction so both of these will have to drop down to the denominator. So that would give me 1 over but then I would have m squared whoa which is fine, uh, but the problem is I would have n to the 13 twelfths. And one of the rules of the game is you're not allowed to have fractional exponents in the denominator. So I need a way of fixing this. And so here's how I'm going to look at it. Notice how the m to the negative 2 power was OK, um, because it is an integer. It's not a fraction. So when it drops down to the denominator, it becomes a whole number. Um, this is the problem. So what I need to do is somehow take this and split it apart into two expressions, two ends. Um, one of them needs to have an integer, meaning a, a non-fraction. The negative part needs to be an integer, no fractions. <clears throat> the, uh, the positive part can have a fractional exponent. That'll be OK. So here is how we can do it. Just focus on the fraction negative 13 twelfths. Um, we need something that we can add to this that is a whole number. So imagine that we add 12 over 12 because that's 1. All right. Now we need something that's going to create a positive number. So negative 13 over 12 plus 12 over 12, that would be negative 1 twelfth. So that doesn't help us because it's still a negative number. So we have to go bigger. All right, now this had a value of 1. All right, that was not enough. So let's make it a value of 2. How could we do that? Well, instead of 12 over 12, let's make this 24 over 12. Okay, so that means um, if I add these two together, that's going to make positive 11 over 12. So that's great. That's exactly what we want. We want a positive number. Okay, now here's what I can do with this. I can use this to create a sum that equals negative 13 over 12. Um, all I really have to do is subtract 24 over 12 from both sides. In other words, I'm going to move this to the other side of the equation. So that would give me negative 13 over 12 equals 11 over 12. Um, minus 24 over 12. All right, I just moved it to the other side. Okay, which means um, remember that this has a value of 2. So negative 13 over 12 is the same thing as 11 over 12 minus 2. Okay, so keep that in mind. So look what I can do with that information. So I can replace n to the negative 13 twelfths 
with n to, to the, I'm um, sorry, this is supposed to be twelfths, n to the eleven twelfths times n to the negative two. Uh, because if I were to multiply these together, I would have to do eleven over two minus two. And, uh, I'm sorry, 11 over 12 minus 2. And I know that 11 over 12 minus 2 um, is negative 13 over 12. So I know this is true. And now I'm ready to create my final answer. Uh, remember that anything that has a negative exponent is going to have to drop to the other side of the fraction. So there's like an invisible fraction line right here. This is going to have to drop down, and this is going to have to drop down. But it's okay, because both of these are whole numbers when we drop them down. All right, the, our only fraction is now positive, so it stays in the numerator. So that's why our final answer will be n to the 11 twelfths power over m squared n squared. All right, that is going to take some practice to master. That was a little bit complicated. Let's try number 12. Starting with the numerator. Well, uh, this is like x to the 1 power, so I need to do 1 plus 1 half when I multiply these together. And this is like 2 over 2 plus 1 half. So that's 3 over 2. So I've got x to the 3 over 2 power. Um, well, y times y, that's just y squared. So that's easy. And now down here, a power to a power, I have to multiply. So this is going to be x to the 4 sixth power. And I'll have y to the 1 fourth power. All right, might as well reduce this. 4 over 6 reduces down to 2 over 3. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So this is what I have. Now, when you divide, you subtract these exponents. So let me just do my scratch paper work here. So I'm going to have to do 3 over 2 minus 2 over 3 for the x's. Um, so that is going to be, um, I'm going to need like denominators. So that's going to be 9 over 6 minus 4 over 6. So that's going to be 5 over 6. Okay, so that's going to be, give me x to the 5, 6 power. Um, now with the y's, I'm going to have to do 2 minus 1 fourth. Okay, um, so that's going to be like multiply by 4. So it'll be 8 <clears throat> over 4 minus 1 over 4. So that's going to be 7 over 4. So that'll be y to the 7 over 4 power. So I don't have any um, fractional exponents in the denominator. So this can be my final answer. All right, number 12 was almost too easy. Maybe number 13 will be more, shall we say, interesting. So first of all, I'm just going to keep the m to the 5 over 3 and the n to the third power in the numerator because I need to do this business. OK, a power raised to another power you multiply. So I'm doing 2 times 4 over 3. So that's just going to be 8 over 3. And this will be, OK, so I'm doing 1 half times 4 over 3. Uh, that's 4 over 6. 
but that reduces down to 2 over 3. So this will be n to the 2 over 3 power. So that's it for that. Now in the denominator, I have m n to the 4 over 3 power. Um, all right, I think there's space for me to squeeze in another step right here. I might need my scratch paper, so let me erase this. So when I'm multiplying, I'm going to add these exponents. So I'm going to have m to the uh, now 5 over 3 plus 8 over 3. That's 13 over 3. OK, now for the ends, I need to do 3 plus 2 over 3. OK, so that's going to be like this is happening. So that's 9 over 3 plus 2 over 3. So that's 11 over 3. OK, and meanwhile, m n to the 4 over 3 power. Okay, now when you divide, <clears throat> you have to subtract. Keep in mind this is like a 1. So I'm going to need to do 13 over 3 minus 1. Uh, but 1 is the same as 3 over 3. And 13 over 3 minus 3 over 3 is 10 over 3. So that's going to give me m to the 10 over 3 power. OK, how about the n's? OK, for the n's, I need to do 11 over 3 minus 4 over 3. So um, that'll just be 7 over 3. So that will be n to the 7 over 3 power. Since none of these fractional exponents are negative, um, that's it. That's going to be the final answer. This video is getting a little bit long, but I'm going to go ahead and try to squeeze in one more problem. Okay, so the numerator, nothing is happening in the numerator, so this is just going to stay the same. So I've got v, then u to the 3 over 2 power. In the denominator, first of all, I have these parentheses, um, so I need to do what's inside here. Um, so the u, nothing's happening with the u, so I'm going to just leave that u to the 3 over 2 power. Now the v's, when you multiply these together, you need to add these exponents. So I need to do uh, 4 over 3 plus 3 over 2. Uh, we need like denominators for that. So that would be 8 over 6 plus 9 over 6, which would be 17 over 6. Okay, so that's going to give me v to the 17 over 6 power. All right, now, don't forget uh, that this is all inside the parentheses, and it's to the 3 over 2 power. So I guess I'll bring it up here. When you do a power raised to a power, you multiply. All right, let me erase this in case I need the space for more scratch paper work. OK, so you know what? I'm still going to keep my numerator. I'm going to put these in alphabetical order because that's what I like to do. So I have u to the 3 over 2 power and v. That's my numerator. Now, when you do a power to a power, you multiply. So this is going to be u to the 9 
over 4 power. And now we'll have V um, to the, well, you know, okay, 3 goes into 6 twice. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So in the end, this is going to be 17 over 4. Now, most of you would have done this. Let's see, 17 times 3 is 51. So multiplying these together, that would be 51 over 12. OK, now, however, both of these are divisible by 3. So you need to recognize that. For me, it's easier to see right now that 3 goes into 6 twice. And then 2 times 4, uh, sorry, 2 times 2 is 4. Um, otherwise, you have to do this. Um, reduce this fraction. 51 divided by 3, of course, is 17. All right, that's how we got 51 in the first place, is we multiplied by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that's a long way of getting 17 over 4. My way is better, um, but some of you are not on my level, of course. OK, so now we have this. So when you deal with division, you must subtract. So that's what I'm going to do right now in both of these cases. So this is like having v to the 1 power. So for the u's, I need to do, um, I need to do 3 over 2 minus 9 over 4. That's what's happening. So I'm going to need like denominators. So this is going to make 6 over 4 minus 9 over 4. So that's going to be negative 3 over 4. OK, and this is going to be a problem that we have to solve later because um, we cannot have fractional exponents in the denominator. And because this is negative, this will drop down to the denominator and become a problem for us. All right, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. Now let's look at the v's. We need to do 1 minus 17 over 4. But this is the same thing as 4 over 4 minus 17 over 4. So that's going to be um, negative. So that is negative 13 over 4. So that means I have v to the negative 13 over 4 power. So both of these will have to be fixed because both of these would become fractional exponents in the denominator. And that is not allowed. So let's fix these one at a time. OK, let's start with negative 3 over 4. Um, Let's add something to this that is a whole number. All right, so for example, I could add 4 over 4. OK, if this gives me a positive number, then that's going to work. So um, negative 3 over 4 plus 4 over 4 uh, would be 1 over 4. That is positive, so this is going to work. If I subtract this from both sides, that's going to give me the fact that negative 3 over 4 equals 1 over 4 plus negative 4 over 4. OK, now of course negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. OK, so negative 3 over 4 is equal to negative, uh, sorry, is equal to 1 fourth plus negative 1. Uh, so keep that in mind because I'm going to use that to rewrite u. OK, so u can be rewritten as u to the 1 fourth times u to the negative 1 power, all right? Because if I do 1 fourth um, minus 1, that's the same thing as negative 3 fourths, OK? So I can split it apart using this. 
So let's do the same thing with the negative 13 over 4. Okay, so I've got negative 13 fourths. So I need to add whole numbers to this, um, and I need to get a positive result. So for example, say if I added 4 over 4, all right, that's going to give me a negative number. So that's no good. So how about if I do 8 over 4? Um, that's still going to give me a negative number. All right, how about if I did 12 over 4? That would still be a negative number. So I just did 1 4s, 2 4s, 3 4s. Um, it's time for 4 4s, which is 16, of course. So I have to go all the way to 16 fourths um, to get a whole number. All right, and I'm doing multiples of 4 because I need like denominators but this needs to be a whole number. So like, for example, right now, this has a value of four. Okay, anyway, if I add these together, uh, that's gonna give me positive three-fourths. And that's what I needed, a positive number. Okay, that's important because um, if I subtract 16-fourths from both sides, Okay, basically if I take this and move it over there, this is going to become um, negative 13 fourths equals 3 fourths minus 16 fourths. Okay, now uh, of course, like I said, 16 fourths is the same thing as 4. So this is a fact that we can now use. Negative 13 over 4 is the same thing as 3 fourths minus 4. So let's use that fact right now to split apart the v's. Okay, so I should be able to rewrite v to the negative 13th power as v to the 3 fourths power times v to the negative 4 power, knowing that if I added these together, it will equal negative 13 over 4. So I haven't changed anything. Okay, and again, the reason why I had to do all that was because now um, anything that has a negative exponent is going to drop down to the denominator. But now we've made it so that the negative exponents will become whole numbers not fractions when you drop them down. Our fractions are now positive, so they will stay in the numerator, so it will be okay. So our final answer will be u to the one-fourth power uh, times v to the three-fourths power over u v to the fourth power. And this is our final answer. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.